Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to Technopedia. And today our Galaxy Note 2 has received another ROM which is named as Cosmic OS. So we are gonna review it today. Now we will start with it. So here is our Samsung logo. This ROM comes with a cool boot animation which you will see in just a moment. The ROM's name is Cosmic OS and that can be seen on the boot animation also. So our phone has booted, now we will jump to the settings and check the Android version. So here are our settings. So we get Android 7.1.1, no good with this ROM. As you can see here's the Android easter egg for no good. Okay so here is our launcher which is really really smooth, very clean UI, so everything works perfectly here. Our settings also work for the Google Apps as you can see. Swiping to the left we will get the Google Cards. So here are our Google Cards. They also work fine. No problems and issues with it. As you can see the scrolling is really smooth. So that's very nice. We do get Google Assistant with this ROM. So we will test it out. As you can see here is our Google Assistant. We will ask one or two questions and let's see if it can handle it. So what's the weather outside? As you can see it's currently 26 degrees Celsius and indoor. So as you can see Google Assistant is also a good thing to have on our device. It comes in handy sometimes. And we do get uh, swipeable notifications. As you can see, which we can customize it. So that's really handy feature. As you can see we can scroll if we are having so many notification toggles. We can directly jump into the running services also. We'll see how much RAM pre-RAM we are getting. As you can see currently we are getting 1 GB of free RAM. That's really nice. Okay. Now coming to the battery part, uh, we can say that battery performs really well with this ROM. You can almost expect the stock ROM backup time which you are getting. And regarding the charging time, it's almost the same. The device charges from 0 to 100 in about 2 and half hours. So that's really a nice thing. We do get the battery saver which comes inbuilt with the Nougat ROM. That's really nice. And you do get Cosmic OS tweaks to play with. You can customize your appearance and graphic settings with this. Now we will jump to the camera part. So here's our camera, as you can see the capture speed was also very fast, no legs with it. So camera is not the problem with this room, it's working fine. Okay now we'll check the calculator app, where it is, okay here we go. So here's our calculator, one great thing with this room is that we can see our calculations history, which we don't get in most of the rooms. As you can see, we will just type something in, and clear it and you can see that it's all stored in our history. So that's really a handy feature. Now we will try to play some medium games. So here is our color switch game. As you can see the playback is really really smooth. No problems with the gameplay. Okay. So that's really nice as you can see. No legs at all. Now we will see how the RAM management works. As you can see we have lots of app loaded. 
and almost all the apps are stored in RAM as far as I can see so as you can see almost all the apps are held in the RAM as you can see our game is also running no reload issues so that's really nice thing as our device is a little bit older nowadays and if you are concerned about the Bluetooth connectivity we will also test the Bluetooth speaker let me just connect my speaker which we have reviewed in the past you can check that video And Rill is working perfectly with this room. We will quickly jump into the dial and see our IMEI number. As you can see, it properly shows our IMEI and we are getting the network. Now we will try the mobile data and see how it performs. Let me just turn on the mobile data. So we are now on mobile data 3G network. We will quickly type something in. Let's check the YouTube. So here we go. The browsing speed is really nice as you can see, really fast. Okay, as you can see the mobile data is also working fine. Now at last we will try to connect our OTG pen drive and see if it detects or not. Oops, NTP has stopped working. But let's see if our pen drive is being detected or not. Here is our file explorer. And as you can see, we are getting, we are able to see our pen drive, which means the OTG is also supported in this room. And friends, if you are thinking about the bugs, so let me make you clear that there weren't any major bugs except one which was the random restart we were facing random restarts at any moment of the time there wasn't any specific time for it but it was occurring so let's hope the developers will fix that soon overall this rom is very nice to use it as a daily driver so this was it for today guys and if you are not aware how to install this rom you can check out our previous videos which shows how to install custom ROM and if you like the video please put thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe we will catch you in the next one now thanks for watching